Hey guys, it's Demi and Gay out here. Welcome back to more Perk City. Last part, we took down Peter City Gym, and in this episode, we'll be taking on Cerulean City Gym Tower. Cerulean City Tower. So, it's an all water gym, huh? If you notice, I took the liberty of getting different rental Pokemon. Well, two of the three. Anyways, so we've got a Poliwhirl, a Magikarp, a Tentacool, a Sea King, a Squirtle, and a War Portal. Well, I'll be using a variety of Pokemon in this gym. This time. So, let's get started. With Raichu! I like Raichu, it's one of my favorites. And he's starting off with War Coral. Huh? Okay, let's get started with a thunder! More like rolling thunder, if you ask me. Boom, Shakalaka! And down goes War Coral. If you ask me, that was too easy. Then again, one of the most in this game, Thunder's the most powerful electric attack, so, yeah. Tentacruel, huh? There's no need to use th the Thunder Wave on these things, since it's gonna be killed. This is gonna be a three attack battle, that's it. Okay, maybe a four attack battle. Whoa, Hydro Bomb, here it goes! Critical hit! Oh! Damn! Okay, maybe I overestimate, underestimated the opponent. Switching to Starmie now. I was wondering why Starmie, well, that thing's part poison. And I know Venusaur is part poison as well, I'm just not going to risk a, a frickin' poison thing. What do you mean, Thunder Mist again? You're using Hydro Pump again? Good, you miss. Or should I say, no, I miss. Runaway guy reference. Okay, let's try Thunder one more time. Oh, that is, well, that's shocking. Not. Damn, that actually did quite a bit. What am I saying, Puff? Come on! Let me hear the thunder roar! By the way, also, in these two games, if you've listened distinctly, you can tell what thunder... Because you can tell if it... You can, if you listen carefully, you can tell whether it hits or not. So, I'm not gonna make a joke. We all know what we're, we, we we're thinking it. Um... Let me try attack this time. Hopefully it takes him out. Gonna go ahead. Okay, that should take him out. <laughs> Is that the end of the battle? No. No. What am I thinking? Dark. Seeking. Oh, that thing better not have Horn Trail, I swear to god. I think it has Waterfall, which is the only Pokemon that can learn an HM move like that. Well, actually, no, there's a few. There's a few Pokemon that can learn an HM move. Like, for example, Air Dot, wait, no, Salamence can learn Double Edge. And that's not gonna kill it. No, I didn't think so. Okay, let's... Finish it off with the final blow. The try attack of Thunder, Ice, and Lightning! Obviously, if you don't know that, I feel sorry for you. And again, a critical hit with that attack? Wow. Well, that's about it for that battle. One down, three to go. And random cut. You stop cutting out like that. Seriously, it's pissing me off. Ugh. And we'll continue. 
Battle number two, or trainer number two, is the female junior. Hmm, saw that one coming. Okay, I'm gonna... You only got one water Pokemon. It's kind of why I didn't stick with one, just one Pokemon. Hmm. Let's see. I gotta pick carefully here. Um... Just to be on the safe side. Yes, yeah, so starting off with one of my favorite Pokemon, Gengar. Okay, I, it would have been wise to switch the fucking, uh... Okay, we're gonna use one of my favorite tech one of my favorite techniques. Hit no shit. Alright, please. Are you kidding me? It woke up! Okay, let's try it again. I need to stay asleep. So I don't have to worry about it. Okay, now stay asleep. You, now stay asleep for at least more than one turn. Ah, oh, okay, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm not gonna bother with it. There's you, Thunderbolt Gengar. Ugh. Damn, this is a lot. Smoke screen! Well, the accuracy is down by one level, which I believe is 10%. So, whatever. Ac Another both got a 100% accuracy, so now it should be 90%, I think. Anyways. God, I was just wasting time with that. DC. That's not even my cat, DC. Ugh, what do you got this time? You got Kada Kada Kada. Kada Kada. I was hoping she wouldn't change switch to that. Um I'll play it safe. And you said no assist and follow up with a confused ray. Please. No, didn't think so. Oh great, now you're gonna lower my accuracy even more, huh? Or you can fail. But, I think I'm gonna play it safe and switch to a different Pokemon. Cause I don't wanna see my Gengar get taken out. Switch to Tauros, cause I know Kajabras have weak defense, so... Fusion. Yeah, see, that would have been a uh, good thing I switched. And Kajabra is a ridiculously high attacker. Sorry, special attacker. But, since, um, they use Confusion, which is a weak, which is a 50 attack, which has 50 attack power. Oh, are you... Really, game? Are you are you being a troll already? Good, I'm not confused. I would have been upset if it confused me. Well, not really, but you know. You know what I'm talking about. Just do the job, Toros. Yes, the game looks black on my on the ground, I know. But like I said, I'm playing on the emulator, so... Whatever. I really don't care. See? Change. Now I'm all, now I'm in a black hole apparently. It must have been from the strength. Jig Jig. Jig I am not ever, I am not going to do that noise again. Fuck that. Jig Jig can be annoying in this game. After this is pretty annoying in general with their Jig Yeah, I'm not going to go there. See? Not even a full flash. No, I'm kidding. I guess Jigglypuff gave us a new Slash. 
Ah, uh, that's horrible. I'm gonna shut up now. Critical hit. Okay. Damn, that battle just, that battle took like five minutes. Holy shit. Well, I don't know. Anyways, battle number two is done. And it's doing what it was doing again. I'm not doing that on purpose, it's just... The way it is. And Gengar's got a little something on his head, but oh well. That's okay. We're gonna continue, yes. If the video drags on for long enough, I'm gonna cut it too far. Okay. Okay, battle number three. Using Raichu. Nimit. So, how do they pronounce that? Nightmare? I guess? Oh, Nightmare. Nightmare. Ha ha ha, very funny game. Nightmare, Nightmare. Ugh. Right, this is just thunder already. Hit. And that should take it out in one switch, one hit. Yeah. Omanites are the more defensive of the two. Fossilized Pokemon in this game. Actually, there's only three in this game, but... You know, you know what I'm talking about. Goldine, huh? Actually, to be totally honest, here's a proven fact about me. Out of all my years of playing Pokemon Stadium, actually no, out of all the years of me playing Pokemon in general, I have never, ever, ever trained a Goldeen and got it to a speed game. Why? Because I thought it was a horrible Pokemon. Well, that's shocking. Not. Yeah, see? But seriously, I've never, ever trained a Goldeen in my life. Not that I can remember, anyway. Well, that's ironic. Too bad I'm using a ride to not a Pikachu, huh? Anyways. You thunder. Oh yeah, thunder does have a chance of paralyzing the opponent. Serious white. This is a two to five attack. Normal attack move that does eighteen damage. Has eighteen attack power. Huh. I hit five times. Okay, what the fuck? That gave me some serious slowdown. I think I'm slowing down right now. I guess I can take the time to show off Mega Kick. It's a... 100 attack power normal move? But low accuracy. So that's it. And... Bye-bye. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Anyway, that was battle number three. <sighs> and now, it's time for Misty. The only thing I see you should be worried about in this battle is your Starmie and Blastoise. But if you're me, you have nothing to worry about. I'm pretty sure you know who I'm using for this battle. But if you're using Grad Pokemon and she happens to use Steel, watch out for an Aurora Beam. Damn, she's setting up Blastoise already. Would have been more ironic if I switched off my Venusaur, which I did indeed pick. But I guess I can take the time to show off Thunder Wave, I guess. Which it does is a paralysis-induced attack, so... As the dead is paralyzed, which means you have a 50% chance of attack in each turn, and your speed is cut in half. That could be bad. It dug a hole. Lovely. But it could, um... It could risk its attack. That's a ground move, as you cannot tell. But I'm switching to my Venusaur. 
It's the battle of the starter Pokemon! Good thing I switched, it didn't get fully paralyzed. Critical hit! Ah. Okay. Um. I'm gonna use Leap Speed. I wonder who goes first. Oh wait, me! Because I'm using... It's paralyzed. Derp! This is going by fucking slow. Fully paralyzed! Now, just take your HP. Thank you. Um... Okay, let's... Use Solar Beam! Hopefully I can take a fucking, uh... Hopefully it's fully paralyzed again. Uh... Yes! Huzzah! Stop your HP. Now, you have nowhere to hide. Unless you decide to switch Pokemon. Alright! Solar Beam! Yeah, it comes out of the, it comes out of the mouth. You think it's come out of the fucking seat on its back. Damn! Damn, that thing's powerful. I'm not one to usually use Solar Beam. I'm more of a dig person in this game, then again. Ugh. I'm gonna use Leaf Speed on it. Ah, Thunder Wave! Really? You had to paralyze my Venusaur. Whatever, I got the upper hand. Leaf Speed! And now, now I'll slowly suck away your HP. I won't be able to do him turn and hit though. No, I'm not using Solar Beam because I'm par paralyzed and I don't want to risk it. Using Switch Up. Huh? That is a special. Oh, wait, no. Sir, what am I thinking? This isn't fourth generation. That's normal attack. That, that never misses unless you're up in the air or um, underground. Now I'm going to use Poison Powder to poison it. Which, oddly, I'm having the best of luck with these status inflicting you. Paralyzed. Damn, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna try for a solar beam. While sucking up its HP in the process. If I'm not... Something's gotta give, and it's probably gonna be me first. But, we'll see. Hurt by poison. Sucked by... my... Damn. Okay! I seem to be having very good luck. Huh? It's a switch attack, as the announcer would say. But no, I'm not gonna make the, uh, fucking move by move commentary. I'm already doing enough commentary in the process, anyway. Mm -hmm. Ho ho! Solar Dream! Yeah, screw your paralysis. Hey, sorry, your paralysis, your paralysis, you paralyzed me, it's pointless, don't you think? Okay, this battle's been dragging on long enough. If it's switching to Steel, then I'm just gonna switch to Starmie or Raichu or whatever. Wow! Or I could let it kill me with an Aurora Beam or an Ice Beam. Yeah, why not? Instead of taking a hit, Venusaur's did a really good job, I have to say. Or I could use Blizzard! Ugh. Ouch. That's all I have to say to that. Okay, Venusaur, you did a very good job. Congratulations. Holy shit. Okay, um... Back to right, you. Huh, the only two Pokemon I didn't use... The only Pokemon I didn't use in this gym was Cypher. But I will show off Cypher at some other point, because I know I'll be using it again. By the way, there's... This, it's, it's, if you notice in the first episode, well... If you haven't played this game, there's different modes. There's a gym leader castle and the stadium. If for each mode and whatever, they have different moves, so... That was something. And you're gonna use Surf now, aren't you? Yeah. Damn, I knew Seal was weak, but come on! 
Oh yeah, by the way, steel is only part water, but it turns it evolves to get this an ice attribute, so that's why I know it's ice there. Oh come on! Yeah, I don't think I'll be living through another one of those, but I might. Third time to John? It's a hit! And that's it! That's the Cerulean Tower in a nutshell. Now it's gonna... Oh sure, now it doesn't fucking freeze, like, glitch out of me. Damn. Anyways, that's that for Thrilling Gym. So, next time. Oh, wait, hold on. Seek the key from Misty to open Surge's Tower. So, next time on Pokemon Stadium, we'll take down the Electric Gym. And take. So, see you guys then.